Here are the pieces of the door that were sent to me. And you can see this, this is a cope and stick joint. And it will require an intersection to create this joint at this location here. I'm picking the push-pull tool and then editing the component and then pushing out this flat area but I need to tap the control key. Notice the little plus sign on the icon and I'm going to push that, push that out beyond the edge that was there. Let's turn around and look at what we have here. And notice that we've got a, a joint here that of curved surfaces and we'll use intersect to cause that edge to be created. I'm selecting the two curved surfaces, right clicking and picking intersect faces with selection, selecting that option and immediately a curved line edge is created at that joint. I'm going to do a right to left selection here to quickly delete a lot of the pieces here that are waste material. Also that piece out there. And there's still some waste here. I'll pick the eraser and knock out the rest of that problem area. Let's inspect the joint that we've now created here and notice that we've we've got a little bit of a open triangular area that was not closed properly. If we had increased the size of these components by a factor of 10, scaled them up, we probably could have eliminated that problem. I've drawn a line across there to close that little triangular face and now we can delete these extra edges and have a smooth surface at this joint location. Close the component and Let's go ahead and connect these two pieces together and inspect the final pairing up of the joint. Pick the move tool and move along the red axis until we've got a connection at the end point. Click. Uh, let's turn on uh, Let's turn on x-ray just to view the joint. Looks very clean. And that's the completion of the joint.